Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel today. I hope you guys are all doing well. My name is Marianne. If you're new here, welcome to my channel. I do videos about pre-law, not college anymore. I'm out. Um, beauty, lifestyle, and fashion. But today's video, I'm going to be doing a day in my life of LSAT prep and just what I do after hours if I do work or what I do if I don't work. But today, I did work today and I just got off. So I normally will study in the afternoon. Otherwise, if I don't work, I'll study in the morning. But I wanted to bring you guys along. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel because it always means a lot to me. And check me out on my socials. I definitely do upload more on TikTok than Instagram. But I'll leave everything now linked below for you guys. And if you guys want to see my study prep today, keep this on watching. This is overall my desk set up. It's a very small desk, but you know, it's durable. I have my laptop here in a stand. It helps me a lot with looking up because I definitely, when I use the book to look down, I have really bad neck pain. I keep my iPad for like timers if the app that I use doesn't have a timer. And I have my schedule, my planner. I got a little Snickers bar, for like a little treat. Um, have my water like to get hydrated and then just like my mouth. I have to change the batteries because it is dead, but I actually got this from Target, super cute. But right now I'm going to start off um, with studying, and I kind of have it in my planner what I'm going to do this week. I got this planner also from Marshalls, which is super cute, but let me show you guys. So yesterday I had an off day because I was out of town, and so then... This is my time zone. I was up early, so I already did that. Um, I did a like logic reasoning, like film. I'm gonna finish watching one I was using for flaw. I did assumption because those are the two assumption and flaw. Um, LRs are the ones that I kind of have more problems on. And then I'm gonna do some drilling and then logic games. Since logic games is kind of like my strength sanction, um, I only do it like once a week because I don't really need to focus so much on it. Um, normally, if I need to add more, I will, but this is what I'm going to be doing for the next few hours. I definitely will say when normally when I do feel really drained, especially if I work, because um, sometimes I can work really early in the morning or kind of middays, but if I do feel a little bit drained, one of the hours, if I still have to do like a lesson or if I'm just reading, I will go on the treadmill just to walk. I feel like that kind of like gets me to wake up a little bit. But as well, it just kind of has me moving around because if I'm here just standing and like looking at a screen the whole time, I will sometimes get really tired and I just feel like I start rushing things and I tend to do that a lot. So that's why like on test days, I just try not to do anything else. I try not to wake up so early because then I don't want to be so tired. I don't want to wake up over late um, because then I'm just going to be like, doing too much and then I'm going to be tired as well so I I do it between like 10 o'clock and noon right now recently I've been doing like 10 to um, like 1 30 and I think I'm going to keep that because when it's test day um I think I'm going to do that time last time I did 4 p.m and I did not like that at all because I went through my day and just the whole day I was just nervous so I was just like nerves building up and I was just wanted to get the day over with and also like I had a lot of stress on top of myself because the proctor wasn't working at all and I thought it was maybe on my end because of the wi-fi and I waited 40 minutes to finally get a proctor and I thought my time already started and so like again I never taken the LSAT so I was like oh my god like I'm gonna have enough time to take this test so it's definitely nerve-wracking and I just rather get it done in the morning out of the way so then I have the rest of the day to do stuff not ever have to worry about the LSAT again hopefully if I'm be fine by October but I really hope like October I'm good because let me tell you even though I have my routine I'm doing all this stuff I'm ready to be done with the LSAT I don't want to take the LSAT anymore um so let's grind these last month and a few weeks we have left and hopefully get our ideal score okay so what I normally do during the week of LSAT prep I this is my to-do list. Let me expand it really quickly. Nope, that's not what I wanted. Okay. 
So I have one sticky note um, for a to-do list. I'm going to zoom in for you guys. And then I have one for like my weekly schedule, even though I have it on my planner. I just typically still like to do it just in case I forget my planner. So I have off day, Monday, and then LG drills, LR drills, and then lessons. Let me know if you guys are staying for LSAT, like how many off days you guys do. I normally try to give myself two days, but I feel like also that might be a lot. I feel like I'm wasting time. But I also don't want to overwhelm myself with like every day of studying, you know. I think when it does become like September 15th, I'm going to start taking more tests than normally. Um, so hopefully by then I don't have to keep drilling so much. Wednesday... I could look back onto my planner. Sorry, there's also a lot of background noise. Um, so Wednesdays, reading comp, lesson, drill, science, and social science, and then do a practice test section. So reading comp, lesson review, social science, and um, science has been my struggle passage recently and I cannot spell today. So those are my main focus. Law and humanities I've been doing okay. I could have scored better but I only be missing like three or two so those ones I don't really need to focus so much on besides these and then section. Test Thursday Fridays actually, when I don't work, I like to have those be my test days. Um, just again, because I have time to wake up in the morning, do what I have to do, and then I can take it in the time being. Okay, so I just kind of wrote everything here. Um, so again, yesterday was my off day. Today, I have some drills I have to do. Wednesday, um, reading comp, review, science and social, science drill. And then half the test section, Thursday, same thing, reading comp lesson, humanity and law, and then do the test section, and then I'm going to blind review it. That's something I have not been doing recently. Sometimes I do it with the LSAT demon, but since I kind of went through the free trial, I can't do it as much anymore. And then Friday, I'm doing test day, and then Thursday, actually, law school applications open up, which is crazy, but I'm not necessarily right now going to start a lying i'm gonna look over it but i'm gonna attend to the law forum soon in the middle of september so once i attend that i think i'm gonna narrow down the schools that i would like to apply to and then again friday's test day i'm gonna look over applications to kind of see the, what i'll start needing to do and then sign up with the lsat demon i'm gonna do their basic trial um because i really like the lsat demon i think it's helped me a lot when i used it and then Saturday, I'm going to blind review the test. Saturday, I was going to normally have my off day, but I do want to go over my test. And then Sunday, since this past Sunday, I didn't do a prep test. I'm going to do another. I'm going to do two this week just to kind of make up for it. But yeah, it's the LSAT lab. Oh, now I want to enter. But I'll show you guys in a little bit. Um, But it's called the LSAT lab, and he has a lot of videos regards and like different sections of the LSAT and like question types so I really recommend them if you need more detailed video talk through. Okay so I just finished watching the videos. I finished watching the fall like the assumption videos and then I'm doing I just did or I just watched um how to master logic reasoning and some tips are um in my notebook was basically um look for the evidence that will lead to your assumption We'll look up evidence, then the conclusion, and then kind of like assume it. And he kind of mentioned like everyone's going to have a different assumption, but like figure like something that will correlate to it. And then just basically always diagram your notes, just like as your diagram um, logic game. And then watch out for the argument structure, the reasoning structure, and then trap answers because those are always a lot. Sometimes you'll end up with like two questions that might look very similar, and one's always a trap answer. And then another some tips on the flaw video I wrote down was how to find flaw questions, like determine what it is, is 
write down the conclusion. There's going to be like one or two evidence and then anticipate what will be like the answer or what will weaken that. And then another one is basically questionable techniques and vulnerable to criticism and fall into the reasoning the type of questions that fall. Um, uh, questions will appear up in the outside. But that's pretty much it. Right now, I'm taking a break from logic reasoning and I'm going to start doing logic games. Since I've done a lot of logic games on Khan Academy, it starts to show me the same questions all the time. And even though I could like really practice doing the same questions, eventually your brain's going to recognize the question. That happens to me, especially with reading comp. So I'm going to go into my um, prep test and I'm going to time myself on my iPad. Typically I'll get like eight minutes, nine minutes for ordering. The, lo the lengthier the questions are, um, I give myself more time, but typically I just give myself like a good eight minutes to do it. So I'm gonna do um, some questions for logic games and then we're gonna drill for logic reasoning. So for logic games, I only got one wrong. And um, the only thing that was different because some games when they tell you like to order like oh one through six six being the highest and one being the lowest or the bottom or the top but this one didn't so i was a little bit like thrown off so it took me a little bit more so i went 11 minutes over instead of eight minutes so it did take me a little bit longer to do because i was trying to figure it out like oh do they mean one's like the highest um like the question was saying oh like young must be assigned hired numbered parking space in Togwa. But I was like, okay, is one higher or like six is higher? Because sometimes the games will say like one's higher and then six is the lowest to be. So that was so off. The only thing I didn't get is like one question about the limited space, but I think that threw me off in regards of um, knowing which one was the highest. But the only thing I don't like about the crop test is that it doesn't explain it, obviously. So you don't know what it kind of, like what the answer, like why that answer is when you take it online, it does. That's the only problem, but this also like mimics the test, which I really like. Because if I feel like I'm getting right on these ones, it is a test, like it's just like an older test basically. So yeah, right now I'm just going to move on to logic reasoning, with assumption, drill, and flaw drills and then once I'm done with those I'll talk about it and then we'll end it for the day. Okay guys so I finished drilling and it was like a hit or miss flaw. I got the first round did two out of six so like not really good. The second one I only missed two four out of six so slight improvement. Um it actually was on time and I definitely did like diagramming and it did help me a lot to do and then the assumption first one I did I only missed three so three out of six so technically like for Khan Academy that's passing but then I did not do the good the last round and we got one out of six and I was just like blind reviewing it and just kind of going over why I like, got it wrong but I also did it like five out of eight minutes so I felt like I was rushing it because I knew it was like almost like time and that's like again when I start getting to that mentality that I'm just like rushing it because I want to like, hit that time or, like oh I know it's time to be done setting then I just don't really try as much and that's why I don't like sitting at night when I'm like during the day I have like the whole day like the end of the world you know what I mean but I basically at night it's just kind of harder because I just kind of Especially if I like, work very early in the morning, I just kind of want to like have a set time and stuff. So that's the only default, but kind of seeing improvement though on like some areas. You know, like I like flaw, I went from like not so well to going better, and then like assumption flip flop. So this week I'm definitely going to focus on assumption. I'm still going to focus on flaw, but my main focus will be on assumption because I know that's like one thing I do have more problems with is assumption over flaw questions. Okay, so I'm just, I wanted to check see last time when I did logic reasoning drills, if I did better. Okay, so last time I did logic reasoning, I did, sometimes I wish I wrote which one I did. 
We don't write down the drills. Okay. Nope, that was a test. Sorry, guys. I just want to, like, see if I... Okay, assumption. Okay, four out of six. I got three out of six. So it's kind of round. I mean, obviously I went down one, and then the last time I went. Flaw drills, three out of six. I got three out of... Four out of six, so I went up. And the other ones I did two out of six. So I definitely went up in flaw, which is really good because that was one of the sections. Um, the questions I do get really wrong on the test, like every prep test I get, it's always flaw and assumption. Like I always know is those two. So I'm glad I'm seeing improvement. And honestly, it's like the imposter syndrome because sometimes like I just told myself I've been studying for 11 weeks, but why can I get my score up? But it's just like, I think it's an imposter syndrome in me when I'm ready and when I know I can do it, it's going to happen. I just can't keep losing that fate in myself. Um, but yeah, so that is my test day, prep day today. I'm going to do like a whole separate video about applications once I'm done with them. And I know I was talking about how I was probably not going to start them until next month, but then I started to realize that they're probably going to start adding up. I don't, obviously don't know how long the applications are and the personal statements, everyone's different. I finished my personal statement, like my main one, but every school is different. Sometimes it like, makes you like move it or um, change it why you want to go to their school or like something um, particular. So I obviously have to take in part that and just make sure I have everything for my application ready to go. Um, so I think once I open up, Friday after I take my test and then I said what I was gonna do Friday. Friday I was gonna take the test and then look over applications. Um yeah, after the test I'm just gonna start going through them and then I think I'm just gonna fill out um my safety schools pretty much. Um which is Loyola and then um UIC John Marshall, which is also in Chicago, and then after that because my top schools were like Fordham and Cardoza but I also need a higher LSAT score so those are my higher schools but my safety schools are Loyola and John Marshall there's like times I have to be realistic with myself but those are times I also want to shoot for my goals so I won't stop until I get it there but that is all for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, if you guys like these videos, let me know. Give a thumbs up. Leave me suggestions down below. And don't forget to check out my socials. And I will see you guys in the next video.